Greetings. Welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Uh, we're going to get right to it today. I got a, a couple of interesting stories. You know, when I first came across this um, Gene Simmons story, which is here, uh, it said Gene Simmons had no friends. And my first thought was like, here you've got a, you know, a rock legend who's been around since the 70s, one of the the most commercialized bands, maybe not your favorite band, but one of the, the most commercialized bands with Kiss. And one of the best live performances I've ever seen in my life for a live show. Uh, absolutely loved Kiss when they were live. And uh, to hear that he's, you know, 75 years old now, and uh, I think he's 75. I watched a documentary where he was 75, and I think that just came out. And he's saying that he's all alone now. I said, man, how, you know, how, how far he's fallen when you were a legend of rock and, and you're all alone. And then I read into the story a little bit. And it turns out he, that's the way he wants it. And uh, I have a story about Tom Hardy as well that I'd like to jump into, um, that, that he, he likes being alone and that people are finding that as they age, if you have a lot going on in life and you're enjoying yourself, you don't want to be distracted by other people's needs or wants and that you're happy on your own. And the reason why I do these about, you know, Hollywood stars or rock rock legends or whatever, whatever is because if I tell you the story about Bob, my next door neighbor, it doesn't quite have the same impact. It's, it's a little harder for people to relate. Uh, before we jump into that tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a live stream over on betterbachelor.locals.com where I'm going to be doing women owning themselves bragging on Twitter. And these are women that think they're, they're bragging, but in reality, uh, they're kind of losses as well. And I always enjoy those because they show you just how far women's thought process is kind of off the rails of reality. So they're always fun. Uh, the other thing too, thank you for those guys who have, let me adjust my arms here. Adjust my arm, my arms for my chair. Uh, thank you for those that have, have signed up for the compete to win uh, Jeremy's razor and or daily wire sign up. Um, we've got about, uh, this is where if, if I, if enough of you use the link that's below my video or that I've pinned in the first comment, if enough of you sign up for that, um, we, and I say we, because we will win $250,000 to put towards the men's retreat that I want to build, which is, that's going to be the land. Now after taxes, it'll probably be closer to 125, but that's enough. I can get a couple acres of land. I can maybe put up some tent sites, have a couple places for small campers to park and put up a, a steel building with showers and bathrooms and maybe a little bar, dartboard, something where guys can just come together, maybe on a vacation uh, for a week, a year or something like that to kind of bond and have other guys to hang out with. This would get us a long, long way. Otherwise, I've got to save for another couple of years and it'll come out of my pocket. I'd like it to come out of uh, Daily Wire's pocket. So if you guys could help me with that, I appreciate it. Right now, we've got 300 points. Uh, you get, um, if you get their razor kit uh, with a with a renewal, which is, it's a, my razor kit, as a matter of fact, is being delivered tomorrow. I've heard great things about it, all American made, like good quality stuff. I think it's all American made. I, I haven't checked into that. So let me, I know that they're trying to find someone here in the States to make it. So it's American made. Uh, you get 10 points. If you get a daily wire subscription, I think for a month gives us 20 points. And then if you upgrade from a regular to a, the annual, you get 20 points. And so far we've got 300 points. So we're doing well. And we're currently, you can see here, in first place. Uh, they hide the points. So I don't know uh, how close a cone's laser rocket arm is behind us. But guys, if you could use the links below and support that and get us this men's retreat, I would really appreciate it. So Gene Simmons has no friends. And uh, after reading this, I said, you know something? I think he's, he's, he's kind of like I am, which is right now I have no friends. I, well, I take that back. I have one friend, uh, but that's someone I'm actually dating. That's not, that's not, uh, that doesn't really count. It says, uh, Gene Simmons has more friends. I'm more interested in what I want to do. It says, uh, Kiss frontman and deal-making machine Gene Simmons does not have any friends and doesn't want them. In an interview with Goldmine, Simmons revealed that he's just not interested in having friends to hang out with because he'd rather be doing whatever he's doing, which on the surface sounds negative, but hey, at least the guy's being honest with himself. Now, uh, this writer here, uh, Greg uh, Kennelty, I guess, he makes the assumption that again, um, he'd rather be doing whatever he's doing. And, and I can relate with that because I'm kind of the same way. Uh, he says, even as I sit, uh, even today as I sit here, other than Paul Stanley, and we, we only get together when we do stuff for the band. How do I say this without sounding inhuman? I don't have friends. Yeah, friends means, gee, I don't know what I'm going to do this afternoon. Hey, you want to come over and hang out? He says, I'm more interested in doing what I want to do. And I don't want to pretend that I'm interested in what you want to do because I'm not. And they say, so there you have it. Don't try to hang out with Gene Simmons. 
Um, and, and they go to, into the bands about the band's last performance because this is their farewell tour. And I think that has a lot to say that, you know, you can have the money, you can have the fame, you can have, you know, mansions and fancy sports cars and everything else. But in the end, really, the happiness does boil down to, are you good in your own skin? Can you find ways to occupy yourself? And whether you're, you know, Gene Simmons or you're, you know, John the Welder, you know, you can find solace and happiness by finding your own meaning in life and your own passions to the point where you can actually disregard other humans completely. I did a video on the guy that moved up to Alaska. I forget his name now. This is off the top of my head. Uh, he flew out to Alaska and he lived out there 30, 40 years and pretty much just stayed alone. He got visited twice a year for supplies. And other than that, he spent his entire life alone and he loved it. And, and I forget his name. I know one of you will remember it. But I did a video on that and he was kind of the same way. And then the, the Tom Hardy article I wanted to read here. Uh, they say, uh, like we all do at some point, Tom Hardy just wants to be alone. And they say here, you know, and I remember this because of the Tom Hardy quote where he says, you know, it's being alone for a while is dangerous. It's, it's addicting. When, once you see how peaceful it is, you don't want to deal with people anymore. And they talk about how he had addiction problems and he kind of slipped into a depression a little bit. And he says, um, here, w- once you see how peaceful it is, you don't want to deal with people anymore. This causes a lot of debate on social media as this part of the actor was never uh, reliver to the public before. I don't, as this part of the actor was never reliver, reliver to the, I don't know. Uh, Some fans say this could have been negative uh, effect of um, prostrating the protagonist in the movie Venom 2 after the hero is also a loser who has similar conditions. But the thing is, you know, when he says, I want to be alone, and yes, I had some addiction problems and things like that, and he's not out in the public eye, and he says, I want to be left alone, there's always an assumption that something's wrong with that person, or he's antisocial, or he's sad, or he's depressed, or he's not dealing well with, but the truth is, again, Tom Hardy is actually doing fine. Uh, here, he, he's taking, uh, I guess he's taking Brazilian jiu-jitsu. They say Tom Hardy secretly entered a fight contest and destroyed all his matches. So his muscles aren't just for the for the movies. He's actually doing something with them. They saw Oscar, let me zoom this up a little bit. Oscar nominee Tom Hardy's hunky physique isn't for the cameras on Venom and Mad Max series star reportedly entered and decimated a martial arts competition in the United Kingdom over the weekend. Uh, why, does, why is my filter still on? Let me turn that off. I have a filter that will block uh, uh, segments of bad words, but jujitsu because I, I don't know why. Anyway, a uh, 45-year-old 40, actor quietly joined Saturday's Ultimate Martial's, Martial Arts 2022 Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Open uh, at the Oak Grove School in Milton uh, Keynes and won all of his matches, a spokesperson for the institution confirms to EW. Hardly fo- uh, fo- Hardy focused, on one, focused one opponent into submission in roughly 20 seconds. He was brilliant. Even sponsor Sean uh, Roseboro told the outlet a lot of people were asking for photos and coming up to him, and he had no problems with that at all. Hardy competed under his real name, Edward Hardy, and finished in first place in the Master 3 class for men aged 41 years or older. He previously won the Reorg Open Jiu-Jitsu Championship in Wolverhampton, which the Guardian noted raises funds for military personnel, veteran, and emergency workers. Uh, And they reached out to a rep, and uh, they didn't hear anything back. And, And so the... And uh, let's see, I guess um, I guess that's all they have on this. But again, what I find so interesting is here you have men, whether it's a famous actor, whether it's a guitarist, uh, here you've got someone like Tom Hardy, who's also, you know, he had problems. He, he battled some demons in his past. He came through it. And because he fought those fights on his own, he said, hey, you know, I realized I'm really good by myself. I don't need anybody else. And people automatically associate that with somebody that, and, and there are people that do withdraw from society um, that do have issues and, and uh, do it for negative reasons. But in the same token, you can do it and find positive reasons. And, and I do this. So hopefully you guys realize that, that if you are someone like myself, that will happily say like, I don't, I don't really hang out with people. I'm actually uncomfortable around a lot of people or people I don't know. I can walk into a group of guys and have a good time, but there's other times where, like if somebody says, hey, do you want to go out and grab lunch or something? I'm kind of like, I'd like to, but I, I just don't. I just find that I just don't have that desire to get out. I like my own time. I like being alone. And it's one of the reasons why I do the job that I do, which is here talking to you guys. This is my, like this is this one-way interaction is plenty for me. Like I'm actually 
quite happy with this. Uh, this. Now that'll change, you know, when I do like a, the men's retreat and things like that, I want to be there. I'd like to do that for my retirement and where I can just retire and have a men's retreat and maybe do some videos and, and make sure I have a clean, comfortable place for guys to come and hang together and cook over a barbecue or a campfire and someone other than me play guitar because I can't play guitar. And we have some, some good time together with, with other men. I'd love that for a retirement. But that would be enough interaction for me. And outside of that, I just, I don't feel like there's a whole lot I need. And same thing with other guys that have had the glitz and the glam. And they say, you know what? I like my own time better. So if you guys are out there and you find that you are all alone all the time and you're not comfortable and you're either lonely or you're miserable or you're unhappy or something's going wrong, lonely is a state of mind. It's not a state of being. I can be alone all the time. These guys can be alone all the time and we're happier that way. And then when you, when you talk about the issues that you're, you may be facing uh, and you say, well, I'm alone all the time and I'm miserable. Find out why. My answer always is, do you have any passions you're chasing after? Do you have anything you love? Is there anything that gets you excited in the morning? Is there something that you're working on? And you have to have small daily goals, like going to the gym, maybe some bigger goals, like I want to get this promotion or I want to learn something for maybe my next step in my career. And then do you have life goals, which is I want to make X amount of money so that I can buy a home or I can build or I can travel or I can whatever, whatever it is. And the more of those goals you have to accomplish, the busier you become. And when there's something that you actually care about and you love and you're passionate about it, you actually kind of want to be left alone so you can make, you know, make, make that, that chase or that traje trajectory to your goal. And then when you do accomplish the small one or the medium one, you replace those while you still chase after this large one. And we all have different dreams, and I would never tell you what your dream should be. But if you find yourself in a place where you are alone or you feel like there's no reason to get up in the morning or it's more of the same old, same old, you know, sometimes it's, it's when you're playing chess, um, and this will of, often happen with grandmasters. When a grandmaster is playing chess against an opponent, he'll make a bad move or something will go wrong. What seems to be relatively early in the match and you know what they'll do? They'll just lay the king down. They say, I blew that one. Even though they could play it all the way out, they still feel it's a, a losing game. And rather than play it out to the end and waste the time or whatever, they just may lay the king down and say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to concede this game. Let's clear the board and let's start over. I need a fresh start at this. It's something that I did in my life back four or five years ago before I started this channel when I did my traveling around the world, when I sold all my possessions and did my traveling. I really just cleared everything off the board and said, I'm going to start my life over again at the age of 43, 44, whatever it was. It's okay to do that, but, but it's very important for you, for you, I believe, for all of us men, that if something's not working for you, sometimes you just need to kind of do that reset, reevaluate things, and you know you're getting it right when you feel like the more you're off social media, the less you need to check your phone, the le less texts or incoming calls of people checking on you, you actually are like, good, you know what, I'm okay with that. I don't need to be distracted by these, this side noise. It lets me focus on our passions. Because at the end of the day, whether you believe you're going to be reincarnated or come back or, you know, you're going to a better place or it, it's just lights out, game over, you only get one shot at this. And you got to make every moment and every opportunity of it count. Because if you're not, the only person you're going to leave kind of hanging out there is yourself. And and I, I don't think any of us really want to be doing that. Uh, the links for everything are down below, guys. Don't forget to check out the, um, the Jeremy's Razor slash Daily Wire promo. I'd really appreciate if we could keep moving on that. I really want to get this, uh, this men's uh, retreat going. And again, join me over on uh, betterbachelor.locals.com where I'm going to be doing this live stream tomorrow night of women owning themselves and bragging on Twitter. I may post it on YouTube. I may not. Depends on how saucy we get into it, uh, but it'll be live tomorrow night sometime in the, in the evening here for the Americas. So we'll see you then. Mm -hmm.